center in the heart of the capital, the Daily Mirror's Pride of Britain Award. Please welcome your host, Carol Vorderman. And welcome to the ninth annual Daily Mirror Pride of Britain Awards. Tonight, we'll be travelling across three continents to pay tribute to the nation's unsung heroes. Uh, and I'm told that someone in the room apparently postponed an election to be here. <laughs> And who could blame him? This is why. The Pride of Britain Awards are, I believe, a unique way to celebrate the achievements of some truly remarkable people. This is the Daily Mirror's Pride of Britain Awards. Now, we like to treat all our winners to a little bit of luxury that we think they deserve, and sometimes that begins on the journey over here, as Anne Glover was to find out. Hi. I've flown to the Braunston Estate in Leicester, to collect our Neighbour of the Year. I'm coming! Sure. <laughs> you and Glover? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> we're going. Where? I've got a helicopter waiting around the corner and you're coming with me now. No, I can't just go. You're can't coming. Just go. You are coming. I've got to lock up. Come on, we're going for a flight. Okay, now. The police are down there, never people. Shane, I've just seen him go out in the taxi. She gave some abuse and she couldn't buy this She's good. Where's she going? To do it. I can't just go. I can't just go. I thought she was a safe Come on, back down the closet. This woman's supposed to be disabled. Yeah. He's the man, that's why. She don't need no money, she's already got enough. She's got enough money as it is. Have you ever flown in a helicopter before? No. Never flown full stop. You've never ever flown before? No. I don't have a passport. Our next award is for our Neighbour of the Year, sponsored by Tesco. You might recall that a little earlier we saw Anne Glover being picked up by Noel Edmonds, so to speak. <laughs> She'll be joining me in a minute, but first, this is Anne's story. Anne Glover is one of Gordon Brown's heroes. Literally, she's in a book he wrote before becoming Prime Minister on Anne Glover. Anne Glover. Our local Labour councillor, thank you very much, Miss Glover, councillor, racist and bully. She's racist as well, when one of the mates calls a mate's little black twats, tell him to go get off the estate, 
She's called we him a packer. She says we don't belong on these days. By now, Anne was on a roll. She became vice president of the Braunstone Community Association, which set about regenerating the area. Passion and commitment and dedication to improving people's quality of life. Uh, I've never known it in a person. Today in Braunstone, employment have all vastly improved as a result of Anne's work. Its findings show that over a six-year period up to 2005, unemployment fell by only 1%. That's despite all the job seeker initiatives and New Deal millions. Means and Labour of the Year, Anne Glover. <laughs> Like that, I think, flipping it. <laughs> <laughs> voted for me too. Yeah, you have those thoughts many times. Many times. Yeah. can uh, manage to face up to you. She knows all about cleaning up trouble on her own manor, Albert Square. It is, of course, Barbara Windsor. <laughs> to not only dine with you tonight, but to present you with this award. You're a hell of a lady, and yeah, I just want to ask you something. When are you going to come and sort out Walford for us? Eh? <laughs> 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 no problem, you're on the It is, yeah. People have said to me, what makes you do it? And I said, well, like most women, I'm a bit of a teabag. Put us in hot water, and you see how strong we get. <laughs>